Hello and thanks for joining us uh, today. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, setting up um, integration between the Sonicwall SMA100 series appliance uh, with Duo. All right. So you'll also uh, notice when we get in there, we're also syncing uh, Azure Active Directory users into uh, the Duo platform. Uh, so you'll see when we actually set this up, we're only using uh, the Duo uh, only um, setup, right? So you have a couple of different methods, which we'll go over. Um, but that's essentially what the setup will look like from our perspective. So let's get in there. Let's uh, have a look and see uh, exactly, uh, you know, what it takes to, to get this set up. So we're using, as you can see here, um, we're on the duo.com website. Uh, so if you go to duo.com forward slash docs forward slash sonic wall SRA, uh, you will land on this document. Uh, and for the most part, this document is pretty, uh, pretty good. The steps, if you follow them, uh, you will uh, be successful. There are a couple of uh, things to kind of be aware of. And we're going to we're going to go over those as we go through this. So the you know very first uh, part is uh, you know downloading uh, the Radius client. Okay, so you'll see here there's a link um, for the Duo authentication proxy. Right, uh, that's not it, but it's right here, um, and it shows you essentially you know the supported operating systems, uh, and all you would do is download this and install it. Uh, on one of these operating systems. So we're running a, a Windows server in this uh, instance, but you can you know, install it on Linux if that is um, your desired setup. All right, uh, once we install it, um, so we'll download and install it, uh, and then it comes down to the config. So if we actually scroll a little bit further down here, uh, you will see um, they will give you the basic setup. They are actually using an AD client. So what that means is um, your pre-authentication would be using the Active Directory um, as the uh, user base. You could also set it up as a Radius client. Obviously, you know, Radius would be uh, what you would be using for the pre-authentication. What we're going to be using um, in here is essentially the duo only uh, setup. So you can see here, this is a complete um, config that they've provided uh, for AD. You're gonna see the difference uh, when we set up um, the actual um, client on our side because it's going to be a little bit different. We're only using this duo only client uh, where you don't do any primary authentication. So you're effectively sending um, you know, both the primary authentication as well as the multi-factor will be sent to Duo. Um, obviously, if you're using AD Client and Radius, you, you would use those uh, for your pre-authentication. All right, so let's uh, skip on over to uh, the server that actually has uh, this set, um, set up on. It's already installed. Uh, when you install the client, you essentially just launch the MSI, uh, it will ask you to log in with um, your Duo uh, credentials. So it would essentially be tied to your uh, Duo portal. And then you, th from there, you, you set up these, uh, this uh, config file. Uh, I have the Duo Authentication Proxy Manager installed alongside. That is an option when you install the Duo uh, Authentication Proxy. You can install the manager. It allows you to um, edit the file, validate the config uh, right from the proxy manager. And then you would see if there was any issues in your config, um, you would see it when you restart the server, right? Or the service. And you can see at the top, we can stop and restart uh, the service as needed as well. So here you can see the config. Obviously what we have here again is the Duo client only. Um, you can see that uh, for the SRA or the M uh, SMA, uh, it uses an iframe. We're going to talk about that when we get into the SMA. Um, the type is SonicWall SRA. Uh, they'll give you an integration key and a security key here, uh, as well as your API host name. Uh, the radius IP, this is the IP of my SMA uh, server. And again, my client here is Duo uh, only client, right? 
And my radius secret is the super secret 21, and I'm running on the default uh, port of 1812. All right, so this is already uh, saved and validated, uh, and the service is running. Uh, so this should be all that we need uh, from the server side. All right, so let's jump over to um, the setup on the actual Duo side, and we'll kind of run through uh, what that looks like. So let's just minimize this guy. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, what we're looking at here. So we have a, a firewall uh, in front of a, a, this um, SMA 500V. So it's a virtual uh, instance of the SMA 100. Um, and you can see we're pointing to that radius proxy, which we just talked about. Uh, and again, those are the options that we can do for primary auth, AD, radius, or duo only. Uh, and as you can see up here, we have Duo and Azure. And like I mentioned, we're going to sync the Azure uh, users into Duo um, for that primary authentication. All right, so let's uh, find the window here. And get on over there. All right, so we're logged into the uh, Duo uh, admin console. Uh, so we're going to essentially look at a couple of things. So we're, let's go to users first, um, and then we'll go to directory sync. All right. And then from here, you can see I have this directory sync set up uh, already. Um, you can add a, a new one when you've obviously first come in here. Uh, all it entails is if I, you know, choose add new and I click continue, you'll see I'll just be prompted to log in with my admin Microsoft credentials to authorize the uh, uh, the sync uh, and then it'll essentially sync the users that I've chosen as part of that group all right so not a lot to set up there let's go into the um, actual application so the application this is where you would essentially choose to protect an application and fortunately so for the SMA 100 series they actually already have this application published so when you do protect an application all you have to do is come in here um, and choose SonicWall SRA as the uh, application and then you click on uh, protect okay so it's nice they already have it for the SMA 1000 series uh, they do not have one published so what you would have to do is um, use the generic you can see here I have that set up for the 1000 series. I'm just using the generic one. This For this purpose, though, we're only looking at this SonicWall SRA SSL VPN here. Um, so once I go in here, you'll see, you know, they'll provide us that integration uh, key, the secret key, uh, and the API host name. So if you remember from the config on the actual server, uh, these were the pieces of information we used to populate uh, the config, right? Again, the I key the S key, and the API host, right? Um, so those are the three pieces of information you get from uh, the, um, the Duo uh, config, um, and that's essentially how you would set that up. So in here, obviously, you know, it comes with a default enforcement um, to, you know, uh, obviously there's quite a bit of stuff in here. We're not going to go over a lot of this. Uh, obviously, this is, you know, more from a, that's from a Duo kind of perspective. Uh, but you can see, you know, not a lot uh, needed to be changed here. Um, we just essentially create this application and then we assign a user to the application. Okay, so in this case, we actually in, uh, I'll put a group. Um, so a, the group that we're syncing uh, would actually have access to uh, this application. All right. We can go into users. Let's just take a look at that real quick. Um, so let's take a look here. So you'll see they are part of the duo group from the Azure Sync. And this is the same group that we've added uh, under the application. All right. All right. So if we go back to application, this is essentially where you would uh, assign the groups. You can see we currently uh, have this disabled. Uh, but you can essentially come in here um, and then assign the group that you want to be permitted, right? So you can add um, multiple groups uh, in here, uh, and that would allow it. 
for this uh, demo, obviously we don't have, we only have the one group that really has any users. So we really don't even uh, need that setting. Uh, but that's how you would restrict the application to the specific user group. All right, once we have set up the sync and the application on the Duo side, what we will do is we will go into the uh, setup for the um, SMA. So let me log into that. All right, so we're logged into the SMA uh, 100 series here. So this is the 500V, the virtual appliance. Uh, what we're going to do, there's a couple of parts to set up on this. Um, so one is going to be the portal, and the other is going to be the domain. All right, so we can look here. Uh, we have uh, essentially set up the radius uh, here for the Duo portal. Uh, so you can see not a lot of config here. Uh, what I'm doing is, you know, this is uh, the uh, radius server, right? That's the IP of that uh, device that we set up the duo proxy agent on uh, with the uh, standard port that you saw in the config. And then that super secret password that we set. All right. Um, nothing else has changed here. I'm going to choose the duo portal, which was uh, already created as well. Um, so that's essentially all you need from the uh, domain uh, section. And obviously you would have to create the portal first. We're kind of doing it in reverse here. Um, but what the Duo portal looks like here uh, is essentially I've injected this script into uh, the login message. So if we actually go back um, and look at the uh, document that they have here, um, so if we scroll all the way down until we get to the SMA part, you'll see that is essentially what we've done here, right? So we've injected in that API host name um, into uh, this, uh, this uh, script that's sitting in the iframe. Uh, and one other thing we're doing is obviously you need to display the custom login page. That's how this message is uh, being uh, seen and the script is available on the actual page okay so that's the only setting you need from that perspective uh, and then we would set the actual portal so let's go back here and we'll show you what that looks like so we've done the uh, script uh, in here with the api reference and we've chosen to display the custom login page the only other piece of config needed on this uh, setup is under virtual host I'm putting in this uh, virtual uh, domain name, SMA Duo, right? And then I'm using a certificate. So this certificate is actually uh, a Let's Encrypt certificate. So uh, the SMA um, 100 allows you to, uh, you know, get a free um, Let's Encrypt certificate. Only prerequisite is to uh, essentially have port 80 and 443 open for the service to... Uh, be able to renew the certificate on a reoccurring basis but there's obviously no cost to uh, get a this public certificate uh, that's trusted on the internet so pretty nice feature that that's been added in here obviously saving us a few dollars along the way all right so once we set that up all right there's one less one last step so if we go back here to the document you will see they make reference to CSP for Duo. Uh, and they're actually telling us to go into the Diag page of the SMA. Uh, however, this on a newer version of uh, the SMA, they've actually moved this setting under the administration. So let's go over there uh, and take a quick look uh, at that. So you can see here that CSP setting under... Uh, administration here, system administration. You add in the star.duosecurity.com, and this is what's going to allow that pop up to actually load for us. Okay, so if you didn't actually load this, you would notice a white page because uh, the content would essentially be blocked. We are really ready to test it out. So, what we're going to do 
uh, is we're going to get rid of these windows. Uh, and we're, we're on the actual uh, Windows 11 machine here. And what we're going to do is launch the uh, Net Extender client. And we will put in the password here. And if everything goes uh, to plan, we should get redirected to the Duo um, login, which would be the um, page that would allow us to trigger the MFA. So let's go ahead and try this out here. All right. All right, so we're connecting in here. And as we can see, here's that SMA Duo um, pop-out. So I can either enter the passcode from getting that from my mobile phone, or I can send a push. And you can actually you know, um, set this up to automatically send a push uh, so that you know the, the user just always gets a push, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on push here. And we should, as you can hear, we just got the, um, the notification on the mobile. And I'm clicking on approve. Uh, so this should uh, show us a success. We're logging in. And as you can see, we've established the VPN connection, right? Um, so we can go ahead and well, let's go ahead and disconnect on this one. Uh, what I'm going to show you is the same uh, idea if we open up a web browser here. And we log in here uh, with that same user, right? So let's just go ahead and copy this. All right, so I'm going to get that same pop-up, right? And I'm going to hit another push. And I'm going to unlock my phone and then approve the login. And then as you can see, I'm now logged into the SMA portal where you can publish uh, a variety of different applications or uh, you know, an RDP, um, you know, different uh, internal websites, uh, file shares, etc. right? So um, pretty nice. I mean, it gives you a couple of ways for your users to interact. Um, so yeah, I hope this, uh, hope this video has been, uh, you know, helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, don't uh, hesitate to reach out always willing to um, answer any questions that might come up. Thank you very much.